Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I am going to show you how to create professional looking ER diagrams completely online using a free tool called ERD+. And the best part, no software, no coding is needed at all. I am thankful to uh, Pune University for providing this tool into the syllabus of Database Management System Laboratory. If you are a student or a teacher or someone learning database design, this tutorial is for you. So before we go into depth, if you feel to like this video and subscribe my YouTube channel, then don't wait. So let's dive in it. So what exactly is ERD Plus? ERD Plus is a free web based tool that lets you design ER diagram that is entity relationship diagram relational schemas and even you can convert that relational schemas into SQL statement and it goes in normalize it, it apply normalization steps without downloading anything. It's widely used by students and educators and works great for assignments or a class projects. Just open your browser and go to erdplus.com. But before that, let's understand this ER diagram which I have developed by using this ERD plus. Here there are two entities supplier and parts and for this supplier we have multiple types of attributes. Some of the attributes are key attributes, some of the attributes are listed like composite attributes, even some of the attributes are listed like multi-valued attribute, derived attribute, even relationship has some attributes. E again if you go with this parts p name can be treated as simple or single value attribute so we can draw this type of diagram by using this erd plus once you have drawn this diagram you can simply in a single click you can convert that ei diagram into sql so let us focus on the erd plus software just open erdplus.com i have already given the link of this ERD plus free tool into video description. Once you open that, you need to log in via your Gmail ID. Once logged in, you have to click on documents. When you click on documents, it will give you various options. These are the diagrams that I have already created. We can go with the new diagram. Click on new diagram. It will ask you what type of diagram you want to create. So I'll create a diagram like Sub, supplier and parts. So I'll create this diagram. Now you can select here ER diagram, relational schema or star schema. Currently I'm interested in ER diagram. So I'll select ER diagram and say create. Once you click on create, it will show you this supplier parts. Then double click on that. It will give you this entire canvas. And then we can draw our ER diagram easily. Here it has given a different different buttons menu that will show you. You can rename this option. You can export this particular image or you can even manage this canvas size. Okay. Select will help you. This button will help you to select a particular object. Okay. Then we'll go with entity. Then we have entity attributes as well as relationship. Label will be helpful to you to give certain labels if needed. So let us click on entity. Once I click on entity, it is giving me on right hand side name of that entity. So I'll give the name like supplier. So I have given a name like supplier. It is, it is giving me option. You want regular, weak, associative, super type. So regular means strong entity, weak means weak entity, associative and super type. It is normally needed for extended ER diagram. Once you have created this, then you can add attribute into that. So let us say attribute is supplier ID that is SID. Again, it is giving you types of attributes. That is whether it is key attribute. Yes, it is key attribute. Whether it is multi-valued attribute, optional, composite or derived attribute. So currently SID is unique attribute. I'll take one more attribute that is supplier name. When I take supplier name, it is composite attribute. So I'll select on composite attribute. When I click on some composite attribute, it is giving me an option add component attribute. So when I click on this, it is giving me option that S name that is supplier name that is first name that I'm giving here. Okay, then add one more attribute that is L name that is last name. 
once done then I can manage this properly simply click here properly then take it here this way you can manage this diagram then later on I can add some more attributes like I can take the contact number which can be multi-valued attribute because one person can have more than one, one contact number again I'll add one more attribute that is age now we know that age is derived attribute we can easily derive this attribute by using date of birth so I have given it as as a derived attribute now it's time to take next entity so one more entity that is parts so under parts I'll take PID which is unique attribute that is key attribute I'll add one more that is part name then I'll add quantity once done then my job is over so you need to manage it properly we can manage it properly once managed you can take it anywhere then it's time for relationship click on relationship once you click on relationship it will ask you the name that is sales parts okay so I have given that now it is asking me whether you want it this this relationship is between supplier and parts so I have taken that so it is giving me that link okay then another part multiple supplier may supply multiple parts so it will be known as many to many relationship even I can add attributes to this entity uh, this relationship so I'll click on add I'll add the quantity that is the quantity which is sold out and the price on which we have sold out that particular quantity so this way your ER diagram will be ready you can once this ER diagram is ready you can even give the name like SP you can change the name that is sales or supply supplies parts so likewise you can give that so this way it will, it, it will actually taking what label once your diagram is ready you can save this once saved you can export this diagram into image so it will ask you what type of image you want so I'm interested in transparent background or no transparent background up to you and click on save once you click on save it has downloaded your image once your image is downloaded you can use it anywhere you can upload it at the time of your assignments see that this diagram is ready so I'll simply close it okay another fascinating fascinating feature which is available here again we need to click on document I'll click on document and I'm interested in what supplier parts so here three dots are given and you can now click to convert to relational schema click on that relational schema it will again ask you what type of schema you want so name I have given the same and I'll say create when I say create it will create this relational schema double click on that you will understand it has created the relational schema and this way we can show that the relational schema is ready again you can save this once your relational schema is ready again go to document then right click on this or simply click on this three dots and say generate SQL once you click on generate SQL entire SQL statement will be ready and now you can understand that ultimately ER diagram is converted into the table and that table is having this SQL statements which are ready you can simply copy this SQL statement go to SQL and you can even paste I'm happy to inform you that this ERD plus also given an option opportunity to run your SQL queries you can simply copy paste the SQL queries and run this queries so this way it will work and that's it this way you can create your EI diagram easily even schema diagram and you will even get your tables from this ER diagram and SQL queries ready to go form so once you complete this diagram you can download it into the PNG or PDF and yes you can easily submit it into anywhere which is needed or you can take it into your presentation so friends that's it you just learn how to create complete ER diagram using ERD plus
all online and free. If you found this video useful, please give it thumbs up, subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss the future tutorial. If you have any questions about relational schema, normalization, ER diagram, feel free to add it into comments. Thanks for watching and happy diagramming.